In this video, I'll tell you how you need to act to make your ex really regret leaving you. Because you need to understand one thing. There will never be a reconciliation without regret. If you want to have the slightest chance of getting your ex to give you a second chance, you must first make her regret leaving you. Hello, I'm Peter, a specialist in romantic relationships, and I'm telling you that there is only one way to make your ex come back to you. You must follow the actions I will indicate in this video correctly to achieve this, otherwise, there is no tactic, trick, or magic words that can give you results elsewhere that will make your ex want to return. The first point is to control your emotions. Start by convincing yourself that if you do everything correctly, you will be able to win your ex back. Therefore, there is no reason for you to walk around sad, crying over the loss of your ex. These negative emotions will not help you win your ex back. Desperate moments will not help you have the necessary mindset to succeed in winning your ex back. And even less so, arguments, fights, or chasing after her to make her come back. If she sees you in this situation, at most, she may feel a little sorry for you. But believe me, the pity she might feel will never allow you to win her back, much less make her regret leaving you. I know that after a breakup with someone you still love, you will always feel depressed and sad for a while. But you must make an effort not to show your sad, desperate, irritated face to your ex. She will never feel like coming back to someone she sees as downtrodden and full of negative feelings. That is why it is very important to show yourself happy and at peace with life, both to your ex and your mutual friends. If you need to vent, find a trusted friend who is not also her friend to unload your sorrows and get some comfort. Speaking of friends, I want you to do a very important exercise with me. Do not skip this part, as it will teach you why your ex does not want to come back to you. Imagine you have a friend. A friend with whom you shared many important moments and some secrets, and you start to notice that this friend is changing his attitude towards you. He starts to change, to be ambiguous, no longer keeps his word, and suddenly he betrays your friendship. The first thing you will want to do is ask what is happening. You will approach your friend and ask for explanations. Then he tells you he is still your friend, that he is going through a difficult time, but from now on, things will be different. They will go back to how they were before. Now answer me one thing. Even if your friend's explanations are convincing, do you think you will go back to trusting him as you did before? Will you go back to sharing intimate things and secrets with him as you did before just because he said everything will go back to how it was before? It is unlikely because even if your heart says you know this person well, that you can trust him, your mind will always be distrustful. Your mind will not easily forget the negative emotion felt when your friend betrayed your trust. For you to be able to trust your friend again, he will have to demonstrate this with actions, not just words. He will have to show for a long time, sometimes for several months, that he deserves your trust again. This is exactly what is happening now in your ex's mind. Even if she loves you and her heart wants to give you another chance, her mind at the moment does not trust you. Even if you swear you have changed or will change and that everything will be fine. Her mind simply does not believe your words. You will have to demonstrate with actions and not words that you deserve her love again so that she may consider giving you a new chance to win her back. You must rebuild her trust, and only after that can you start thinking about the possibility of reconciliation. If you two broke up, it is because for a long time, you undermined her trust. Probably with things that were not important to you, and that is why you did not pay much attention to these attitudes. But they were important to her to the point where the accumulation of all these little things led to the breakup. They could have been small things she asked you to do or not do for a long time. And you agreed with her but then did not keep your word and continued as before. These small things that accumulated little by little, month after month, broke her trust, and she probably started to pull away. This distancing, which you might have thought was because she had stopped insisting on these small things, was actually her abandoning you and your relationship. Then one day, 
she got the courage and ended the relationship. She left. And only now do you really feel her absence. Her importance to you. Your first reaction will be to contact her to ask what happened, why she left. But this time, it is the reverse. It is you who broke her trust, not your friend who broke yours. No matter how many times you say you will change, that you will pay more attention to the things she complained about, do you think she will believe you? Now, if you want to regain her trust, you will have to demonstrate with actions, with your behavior, that you really deserve her trust again. And this will take time. Probably months before you can regain her trust because until you regain her trust, you will never be able to win her back. It will be a difficult, painful period, but you will have to go through it. You will have to really change. Truly change so that your ex sees that you are now a person with a different attitude. For her to notice these differences manifested in your behavior, it is important that you can maintain informal contact. There is a simple message you can send to your ex that will probably open doors. Something like, if you don't want to talk to me, I understand, but it's a shame that after everything we went through together, we can't have a natural conversation like two adults. This will touch your ex firstly, because there must be good memories of the time you spent together. I am sure you did not spend all the time arguing and in a bad mood. There must have been good moments, happy moments. The second thing is that you are telling her you want to have a conversation like two adults, which makes her look bad if she does not accept. But even if she refuses to talk to you or respond to your messages, there is still a way to get the message across. If she does not want to talk to you, you can still use social media like Facebook to show that you have changed. Show that you are now happy, that you are having fun with your friends, even if that is not completely true, that you now have an attitude more in line with what your ex values. Even if she does not follow you on social media, do not worry. Someone will see your posts and tell her. But obviously, you cannot show an attitude of someone who is dying to see her again. Of someone who still feels very much her absence. You want to win her back. But she must not know that. You want to win her back, but she does not want to be won back. So if she knows your goals, she will close all doors to you. Your ex is at this moment an adversary to you, not a friend. And you do not want her to be your friend because if you enter the friend zone, you will never win her back. You must see your ex as an adversary. You can talk to her, be polite and nice, but you cannot reveal your goals. Imagine you have an adversary in any situation. It could be in business, at work, fighting for a promotion, or in a sport. You want to beat him. You have the goal of beating him. You have some plans in mind. Will you tell him what your goals or plans are? Obviously not. In the same way, you cannot let your ex understand that your main goal is to make her regret leaving you and want to come back to you. And even less the plans you have to achieve this goal. You must change, improve as a person, and make your ex see these changes. But you cannot say this directly to her. And much less let her think that these changes have the purpose of making her regret and come back. It is important to show a joy for life, have new activities, change your style of dressing, get a new haircut. Show a more attractive and seductive appearance. But above all, show that you have behaviors more aligned with what you know your ex likes. Show that you are a completely changed person, more responsible, more competent, more adult. Because that is what will make your ex regret leaving you. She will regret not being with someone positive, not being with someone who really changed, who improved in many aspects. Someone who finally managed to bring out the best version of themselves. That is what will change the game. That will make her want to get closer to you to see if these changes are really authentic or just a trick to attract her. 
And when she finds out that the changes are really authentic, it will be your ex who will start trying to win you back. And that will be great. It will be everything you wished for. But for that to happen, she must not know that these changes are precisely aimed at seducing her. Making her want to come back to you. Because if she knows, even out of pride, she will not give in. Now answer me. What is the atmosphere between you and your ex? Do you think you are willing to do what I taught here in this video, or will you continue chasing her to beg for her forgiveness in the hope that she feels sorry for you and decides to come back? Answer me in the comments. If you like my advice, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see the links I put in the description just below the video. I'll see you in the next video.